well done, Gemma. You made it in the end. A big oh. sense of relief now, I guess. Yeah, it's been such an emotional week, and I've been looking forward to that race night since after the 105 final on Sunday. It's been such like it feels like it's been a really long time, and I just really want to get my place tonight. My son there was before, but now I'm just so happy it's over, and I can relax and celebrate for a few days. What was Bud's advice to kind of pick you up after that? 100 fly final because he set a world class time and it was underneath qualification yeah. time but just missed out. Um, I think last night he didn't think I'd be able to go much faster than 208 because he saw that I was hit in the last 25. But he said today I only have to do the 205 once, so yesterday I had two 200, so he told me that I'd be able to go a little bit faster and just keep relaxed the first 150 and try and reform the last 50. And I tried to keep as calm as I could, but I was so nervous and excited that the adrenaline was going. Obviously, Ellie went storming away in that final. Was it tough to kind of keep your race pace and your control and then come back in that last 100? Um, well, I knew she was going to go out super fast because I saw how she went out yesterday and I knew that this final tonight she's obviously naturally just going to go out quicker. So I just try to focus on myself and have confidence that I could come back in the last 50 and just get that second place. And so you're joining your teammate Georgia Davis on the Olympic team as well. Yeah. Did you see Georgia make it through to the final and kind of take inspiration from that? Yeah, I watched that 100 back to the final and I saw never with her because we trained really hard together and we both want each other to do well so when I saw her it really made me motivate to get on the team so I couldn't let her go on her own I had to be a teammate with her on the team. Okay, well done tonight. Alright, thank Thanks. you.